hey everyone welcome back to tech genie so in this video i will be showing you that how to download and install the vmware workstation pro for absolutely free so first to bring up any of your browser and here in the search box you have to type download vmware workstation pro and then you need to hit the enter key and here from the top suggestion you will have to click on this website vmware workstation click on it i will also leave the direct link in the description so that you can directly come to the website now here it says desktop hypervisor so you have to click here download fusion or workstation and this will redirect you to the broadcom website because now everything is being handled by the broadcom now once you come up here it asks you to log in first you will have to create an account for that on the right in top you will find the login option click on the drop down and click on register and it says user registration create your account so type your desired email here fill the capture box click on next now you will be getting a verification code on your email that you have mentioned so go back to your email and the email will be from the broadcom customer support so you need to click on it copy the verification code and paste in the verification box of this broadcom page click verify and continue now it will ask you some other information like your name so fill up all these information here And once done, accept the term and condition, click on create account. Then it says unlock additional services by building your profile. So if you want to build, then you can do that. As of now, I will click on I will do it later. And once your user account is being created, now you have to go back to the previous tab where it asks you to sign in. Enter your username, enter your password as well and then click on sign in. And then finally, you will be coming to this kind of dashboard. But in case if you don't find this kind of interface, this kind of dashboard, then I will also leave this direct link in the description. You can copy the link, open in your browser and log into the page and you will come to this kind of dashboard. So once you come to here, you will have to click on my dashboard. Then it will say welcome to our personalized dashboard. So you will have to click on close. And then here that says search the entire site. You will have to click on it and type here VMware workstation hit the enter key and from the search result you will be getting this kind of link vmware workstation and fusion update address multiple security vulnerabilities so you need to click on it then you scroll down to the bottom and under the references you will find different kind of link here so for the windows user you have to go with the workstation pro and if you are a mac user then you have to go with the fusion so for the personal use it's absolutely free but for the commercial you will have to go with the paid plan all right so we will be using for the personal use and i'm a windows user so i will click on this first website and again it will give me some other recommendation like vmware workstation pro 17.0 for windows for personal use for personal use linux for windows so that is the older version so basically we will go with this one vmware workstation pro 17.0 for personal use windows and then i can download the latest version that is 17.5.2 and the final link will be updated here so you need to check this box that says i agree to the terms and conditions then click on this screening required option click on yes and then it says trade compliance verification where it can additionally ask you the address so you can fill up any address here and once you are done you will have to click on submit and now you can click on this https download option and bingo so now you can see the downloading of the vmware workstation has been started and it's around 618 mb so it may take some time so you will have to wait and once it will be downloaded i will show you how to exactly install it all right so once downloaded so you will have to click on the downloaded file click on yes click next again accept the agreement box click on next click on next then it says check for product update on a startup so if you don't need this option you can uncheck it and click on next next and install and the installation of the vmware workstation pro for the latest version will be started and once done you will have to click on finish and now on your desktop you can find the vmware workstation icon so now in order to use it just make a double click on it and it might ask you for the license so you will have to select use vmware workstation 17 for personal use click continue and click on finish 
and this kind of dashboard of vmware latest version 17.2 will be up okay so this is how exactly you have to download and install the latest version of vmware workstation pro for absolutely free now if you need any detailed video how to configure and how to use the vmware workstation then you can let me know in the comment section and make sure guys that you hit the like subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye